when you need to use the tailstock, there's a few things we need to do in order to position it in the right spot. First thing we need to do is loosen these two bolts. And usually there is a wrench below the control that will loosen those bolts. Once you have those two bolts loosened, the tailstock is free to move. But the tailstock on these lathes is pretty heavy, so we can't just slide it with our hands. So the easy way to move it is use the turret to move the tailstock. So what you need to do is jog the Z axis and line up the pin on the tailstock with the hole on your housing. Once you have it lined up, you can push the pin up in the housing and now you can just slide your tailstock into position with the turret. Once you have slid your tailstock into position, you're going to want to remove the pin from the housing on your turret. And now you can lock the two bolts and lock down the tailstock. Once you have your tailstock bolted down, now all you need to do is push a button on the control to use the hydraulic pressure to push the tailstock quill into your center point. The button you will press to advance your quill once your tailstock is bolted down is on the right side. You have a quill advance, which will advance your quill, and you have a quill return, which will retract your quill. Always make sure your tailstock is bolted down before you advance the quill. Once you have your tailstock in position and bolted down and supporting your work, you are going to want to double check all of your tools you will be using in your program and make sure your tools can reach your part and not be rubbing on the tailstock and have a crash happen. 